Okay, so I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you how I broke a hole right through here and then how I completely snapped this one off. Then how I broke this two by four piece of wood here. And finally, how I put a hole right through this jack right here. So I'm leaving Wilderness Lakes uh, Thousand Trails here in Menifee, California, just right outside of Temecula. And I am heading toward Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is one of those trips I don't really haven't done in a long time where I just drive and then do a, an overnighter and then drive and then do another overnighter to get to my destination. Kind of like beeline it over there. I, don't, I typically don't do that. But I'm on my way to the Albuquerque uh, Balloon Fiesta. And I've got two days to get there. I'm driving to uh, Mesa, Arizona, where I'm gonna stay at a Harvest Host. This one is gonna be my first time at a golf club. And then the second time I'm gonna be off the, um, I'm gonna be in New Mexico, right outside of Albuquerque at the Route 66 junkyard. So apparently it's an actual working junkyard, but it also has a brewery and restaurant. And that will get me right into the Balloon Fiesta. Just now crossing the Colorado River. And Arizona State Line. There's an Arizona sign. I did an interview with the owner of Harvest Host a little while ago back at the Escapade. So the great thing about Harvest Host is you can see a really unique venues. Like I'm saying at this junkyard, this working junkyard, but it's also a brewery. Yeah? The most interesting story I've heard about a Harvest Host was actually from the owner of Harvest Host himself. So I'm going to play that one for you right here. Hi, I'm Joel Holland and I'm the CEO of Harvest Hosts. I mean, the most unique experience I've had was visiting Heartland Farm in Kansas, which is a farm run by three nuns who are in their 80s. And one of them makes alpaca scarves, one makes soaps, and the third gives massages. So if you've never had a massage from an 80 year old nun on an alpaca farm, highly recommend it. We got a 6% grade coming up here and we also have a crash. state line and traffic's being held up it's kind of like we're getting into California where as soon as you hit the as soon as you hit the border then you hit traffic New Mexico state line Woo. okay so I want to tell you a story I'm gonna use visual aids on this I want to tell you how I broke a hole right through here and then how I completely snapped this one off take a look then how I broke this two by four piece of wood here. And finally, how I put a hole right through this jack right here. This little trailer stabilizing jack. How did I do all four of those? Well, take a look at this photo and tell me what's missing. That's right, somewhere along the way, and I'm not sure where, the foot to the equalizer jack just fell off. It just disappeared. I looked it up and it looks like it's just a screw that's on the bottom that was holding it up. But what happened was when when I realized it was gone, well, first when I got to uh, this, this uh, Harvest Host here, I'm at the uh, junkyard on 66 Brewery, by the way. When I got here and I did the auto level button, I looked down and I noticed that this one side, the, the pass, it's, it's the uh, passenger, front side just wasn't quite leveling up it just kind of wasn't doing what it was supposed to be so i looked and i and i just saw it go all the way down into the dirt 
like the pad wasn't there like on the other ones. I was like, wait, that's not right. So I let hit the all retract button, brought it all back up, and I saw that it was it was missing. So I was like, okay, not a big deal. My first thing is I put one of these yellow box underneath it. That's how it got this hole. It just snapped it right through. So then I doubled up. I put two of them on. I put two of these so that way I would double up on the side and that's what happened to this one. So I went, you know what? I'm at a junkyard. They've gotta have like some sort of board or wood or something that can help disperse the weight of the, uh, of the thing. So that's how I broke this. And then finally, I was about to give up and I went inside and I keep these trailer blocks. I don't use them that much, but I kept them right there by the front door and I was like, these things are all heavy duty. They're made for, um, they're made for trailer blocks. But as you can see, nope, didn't work. So two things. Number one, I looked it up. The part's relatively inexpensive. I think it's like $18 online, but I still got to get it. That doesn't solve my problem for today. So that leads me to this next thing on how I got this. I went through the mud, like big time, like almost stuck mud, but look at, you can tell how, how deep I was into the mud. So here's where I was at. I was parked right over here where this BMW is and it was at a really bad angle. So I walked around the lots and I said, well, where's flat that I can get to? And so it turned out it was a lot flatter over here. So what I needed to do is go around. So I made this big loop all the way up and around, but you can see those, those are my tracks right there. It was muddy. So I made this big loop all the way around, up and through, all the way up to here, to where it's a, a little more level. But man, I could feel myself getting stuck too, and I just kept giving it more and more gas as I was making the turn. I was like, come on, you gotta get more gas, more gas. And yeah, look at, oh, look at up here. The front, it looks like the front tires are even, or even more. Woo. Man, that could have been, this could have been a lot worse. I could have got really, 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 really stuck. Okay, back to the equalizer jack. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the foot that helps level it out. It's nothing fancy. It's not big or, you know, or anything, but there's a screw on the bottom that just helps keep it and that must have just come undone. And then it just, and then it just went away. So anyways, all I had was a peg. So I needed something like this that would that would replace it that I can get to. But unfortunately, there was no Home Depot or hardware store that was open uh, during this time. There was a Walmart. So thinking fast, this is what I found. And so far it seems to be working. It was a $17 fix. There it is. I found a dumbbell weight. This is the 10 pound dumbbell, dumbbell weight. The hole in the center where the dumbbell goes is smaller than the uh, the pole. So I just brought the uh, leg down. It just kind of sat right in there and I was able to successfully level out. So that's my temporary makeshift Walmart $17 solution. It is temporary and I have snap pads, believe it or not, coming. I'm on my way to the balloon festival and I'm supposed to be picking them up from general delivery. So I'll have the snap pads, but those will only go on to the ones with the foot. So I got to get the foot first and then I can add the snap pad, at least onto this one. So anyways, Two crises adverted today. One, getting stuck in the mud, because that would have been embarrassing, because there's like four or five other harvest host rigs here. And um, being able to, to level when I get to my uh, other destinations and such. So, problem solved. Whew, I think I have earned myself a beer, or two, or five. We'll see how the night goes. This is a popular little harvest host. I got uh, me, and then a, uh, an Airstream, a couple things right over there. Oh, and then here comes a big old thing right there. Look at that. Look at that. Big old thing. It's got a motorcycle on the back, towing a jeep, and a kayak, and bikes. I need more toys. Check this place out. It's pretty cool. We got the bar. Look at these tables and chairs and a big old tire right in the center right here. These little tables are truck tailgates. There's a Chevy Sierra. Or GMC Sierra, Dodge, look at that, that's pretty cool. There's a Tundra, pretty creative stuff here. I like it. Holy smokes, and there's another rig coming in. There's someone else coming in right there. They're gonna have to go out there and do some, some directing or something. Look at this, I'm glad I came here when I did. 
Look at that. Got that one there. And then another one coming in there. Well, good morning. It's uh, time to head out to the Balloon Festival. So I'm still here at the Route 66, uh, the junkyard on 66 Brewery. It's a Harvest Toast location. And I have been to a lot of Harvest Toast, but I've never been to one where there were this many rigs. So there were two Airstreams that were parked over here. I had one Class A that was right here, a big old pusher, that was also parked back here. There was another Super C pack, parked back here with the fifth wheel. That was just crazy, and we got some massive rain. I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. But right over here, this is where I was, uh, originally another rig was there, uh, and then two more up over here. There were just rigs everywhere. So last night, we got some rain. It actually woke me up at around four something o'clock, and then it kind of kept going on, and we got some muddy fields, and um, I didn't get a chance to record any of the rigs coming out, but you can kind of see just through these, these uh, tire tracks, just how, muddy it got so fortunately nobody got stuck everything seemed to be fine but there were some questionable times out here i'm gonna pack up head out grab uh fill up on diesel about halfway there and then get into the balloon fest all right i should correct myself i keep saying balloon fest like balloon festival it's really the balloon fiesta the balloon fiesta all this mud on my shoes that just by walking around the field just now. Ugh, so I'm retracting. It looks like the uh, weight did the trick. Just kind of popped right out of there. So that's a good thing for now. Saves me a bit. All right, here we go to Albuquerque. But still, not like the rig was perfectly clean to begin with, but all right, and we're off. Coming up on the next episode of Claim the Vision, I end up crewing for a hot air balloon team, and not only do I get to learn how these things fly, but I also get to take flight myself. Wait, right, Hector, so we're going to go past the river, we're going to go down, and we're going to try and dip the basket into the, and dash. into the little river there, huh? Yes, splash and dash. Mm -hmm. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help with the growth. Thanks for watching Claim the Vision, and we will see you in the next video at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta.